Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you a very personal story. Um, you know how sometimes you ask people, how did you get into Japanese culture or why do you like Japan? A lot of the times people do say that it's because of the manga and anime industry that they just got into that and discovered Japan. Um, now some people obviously don't start from there, um, they start in other ways, but I'm in that boat of anime and manga. Um, that's how I even discovered what Japan even was, honestly. A geography class helped, but not to the extent of where manga and anime obviously were very influential for me in my love for Japan. So I'm going to share with you today how I got into manga and anime and how it kind of changed my life, honestly. So, uh, even though this isn't stories from Japan, story time! So when I was in middle school around 7th grade, um, you know, in elementary school for me, uh, students were kind of divided into a class system. What I mean by that is kind of like a social class system. We had the very popular girls and boys. We had the very mediocre girls and boys. And then we had like the lower class girls and boys. Um, throughout my elementary school career and middle school career, I was in the middle class. Um, so it wasn't anything too, you know, complicated, but, uh, it was the largest of the groups, the middle class, um, the mediocre class. So there was a lot of personalities um, in this, you know, group of girls and boys. Um, and I just didn't sync with a lot of them. Uh, you know, I made some of them angry for whatever reason. Uh, you know, there was a lot of cattiness with the girls. There was a lot of just backstabbing. It was just secrecy like just talking behind people's back it was really really bad and like I had friends in that group that I really did cherish and I continue to cherish to this day but um it wasn't enough for me to stay in that group I really needed to get out of that social group and find something new because I just I wasn't happy in that kind of atmosphere so you know, I did kind of look towards the lower class group and I noticed that they were kind of getting, you know, picked on, I guess. Uh, the boys in the social, the middle class and upper class social groups, they would kind of look down on the girls and, you know, kind of pick fun at them and I didn't really understand why. So I kind of observed from afar before I made a move and I noticed that one of the girls was reading some kind of comic and I didn't understand what it was at the time. So one day, I believe it was in Spanish class, um, we had a break and so I kind of approached the girl and I asked her, you know, what are you, what are you reading? What are you looking at right there? And she told me that it was something called manga, it was a comic from Japan and she really enjoyed it. So I, was, I asked her, you know, could I look at what you're reading? So she let me see it and I was looking through it and at first, like I didn't understand too much about it, but like I just, just from first glance, I was like, wow, this is some really good art. And as a child, I love drawing, I love painting, I love coloring, I loved anything artsy. Um, so it really spoke to me, the art in the comic. And the comic was uh, Oh My Goddess. Um, for some reason, Oh My Goddess was printed in an American style reading where you read from uh, left to right. So I, you know, I asked her, I was like, you know, would you mind if I, you know, borrow one and take a look at it? And she let me, she actually gave me, um, she kept giving me the whole series, like, here, take this, read this next. And I read it and I really enjoyed myself, honestly. Um, the story was really unique. I've never seen anything like it before. Uh, the art was very unique. I've never seen anything like it before. So I really got into it. And so when I finally discovered, you know, what it was that she was reading and 
you know, then I really kind of took a personal turn to it. I was like, I don't appreciate these people kind of making fun of you for this because it's really awesome stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to make the switch. So I kind of distanced myself from my current social group and went to theirs. And um, some people did not take it too well <laughs> um, in the social group that I was in. They were kind of, I guess, felt betrayed maybe or they just didn't appreciate how, I don't know, I just didn't stick around. Um, one friend did come with me to the lower social group, but everyone else stayed and I still kept in touch with a few. And so that's how I kind of began my love for manga, honestly. You know, uh, this girl, she lent me Oh My Goddess first, and then she was like, how would you like to read, you know, the actual, like, manga format? And I was like, okay, you gotta teach me, though, because this is where we're going right from left. So I was like, you gotta teach me where I need to read and stuff like that. So one lunch period, you know, she taught me how to read from right to left. Um... And I learned really, really fast. It wasn't too hard at all. So if you know friends who are like, I'm not reading because I don't understand, it's really not hard to learn. Uh, definitely just, you know, start picking up a book and figuring out it's really not hard at all. But, um, so I learned with her books. And then I was like, you know what? I want my own books. I want to start my collection. And I did. I uh, wasn't driving at the time because obviously you're like eighth grade freshman year, you're not driving yet. So I would have to get my parents to bring me to the bookstore. And you know, when I first went to the bookstore, I didn't really know what I was doing. I kind of just stared at the section. I was like, I don't know what to pick. Like, how do you know what to pick? Um, and before I even realized what to do honestly uh i just kind of looked at a cover and i was like this looks good and i picked it up so my first actual manga that i ever bought was wedding peach um as you can see there are a ton of volumes um, it was my first one so uh, when i bought it at the bookstore i only bought the first volume um, because I didn't know exactly, you know, what I was doing. And I bought the first volume and I was reading in my room. I remember the day exactly. I was reading, reading, reading. I was really enjoying myself. And then I got to the end. And it was a freaking cliffhanger and I was so upset. I was like, no! Why is this a cliffhanger? Like, I need to go to the bookstore again, like, now! Because I just couldn't wait, like, I didn't realize manga did that to you in the beginning uh, when I first got started. So um, after I read the first volume, I was like, oh no, I need the rest volumes. I, I need to know what happens. So that's when I eventually got the rest of the six. So that was my first manga that I bought on my own. Um, and I didn't really have a job. So... Uh, for those of you who are like wondering, you know, where did you get the money to buy manga? Um, so yeah, what I did was um, in high school uh, My parents would give me an allowance for lunch at my high school and so I Would take that money and use it for books Um, what I would do really for lunch is I would buy like a drink and a bag of chips and that would be my lunch the rest of the money I would pocket in buy books. Um, these books mean a lot to me uh, because it's another personal aspect of my life. Um, I have dyslexia. Um, dyslexia is a, a learning disability when it has to do with reading. Um, my letters, I, I visually cannot see the difference between a few letters. So my reading has always been very slow as a child. I never really comprehended what I was reading. Um, it was very hard to understand things. It was very frustrating um, to just sit and read. I would hate reading. I remember as a child, I would get my friends to read the summer books for me because I couldn't read. It's not that I couldn't read, like I under, I can, I could read words, 
like I can understand the words but I would read so slow and it would take so much time and we didn't have that much time to read so um if my friends were reading the same summer books for school I would kind of just tag along with them and be like oh read it out loud and I'll listen and I'll take notes or I'll read along with you um so that's how I would read you know school material so it was very very hard for me to read as a child and these these books uh helped me kind of lessen the effects of my dyslexia um I could actually see the improvement um that I was having with my reading because I would read so much manga uh my dyslexia just it didn't disappear. I still have problems sometimes. Uh, like one time I was playing a board game and I read something wrong and it was a different meaning and we lost the game because of it. But um, so, but I can understand that I could physically see my progression get better with reading. Um, you know, as a child, you know, no one really thought that I would go into English for my major in college. Um, I started off as an art major because I'm an artsy person, so I went with uh, the fine arts at first. But as I developed my reading skills, as I developed my writing skills, I switched over to an English major. And I don't regret it at all. Best thing I've ever done in my life. Um, I really enjoy reading now. I love reading, even normal books. I love reading normal books too, not just manga. Um, but manga, I have a special place for in my heart because it really developed my reading skills. Um, I had a tutor in high school and elementary school, but honestly, the tutor didn't really do much for me. Um, like, obviously, they were there to make sure I was studying or to make sure that I was doing this thing, but it wasn't like the tutor actually helped me develop any skills. It was just like, memorize these vocabulary words and we'll study after you memorize them. And it's like, that's great, but you're not really helping me in any kind of way. So um, it's weird how that all turned out that I physically got better at reading due to the fact that I was physically just wanting to read more and more and more. As you can see, it kind of developed into an obsession of sorts because I have a massive manga collection. I do not regret anything. Uh, I'm glad that, you know, I felt I couldn't be around those friends in middle school and that I had to move to a different set of friends because if I didn't, I would have never discovered what manga was. And then of course, because I discovered what manga was, I discovered what anime was and I started watching a ton of anime too. So it just, it gave me new friends, it gave me new skills, it gave me um, a new love because I mean if you love manga and anime you eventually start thinking, wow these things are great, where does it come from? And then, like myself, you know, you discover what Japan is, you discover, you know, there's a language, you want to study the language, you want to study the culture, and then you want to go there, and it, it, that's where my obsession exploded, was because I was so into manga that it just exploded, and I was like, I need to learn as much as I can about this amazing country, because so many great stories and art are coming from this country that I need to know everything. Um, now I really, really appreciate the culture of Japan. Um, that's like my number one. I love the culture. It's so, so great and amazing. And then, um, and like I said, I still read manga and anime, um, watch anime. So I still like the, you know, pop culture stuff, but I'm really into like the traditional culture stuff too. I really enjoy that aspect. Um, Japan just has such a deep history that it's just amazing to see how much Japan has to offer for people. So that's my personal story um, about how I came to, you know, have this massive collection of manga that you always see behind me.
Thank you for listening to my story. I would love to hear y'all's story. If you got into anime or manga, you know, how did it happen? I'm very interested to find out how everyone kind of just discovered manga and anime. Um, you know, I, there was a time when, you know, we watched Pokemon or Cardcaptor Sakura, but it's not like we really knew what we were watching. You know, we kind of just, it was on TV, so you were watching it. Um, so I'd really like to know how you really became aware of anime and manga. Um, I'm really interested in seeing um, people's stories because mine's very unique, I thought, at least. So I would love to see everyone's unique stories about how they got into it. So thanks for watching. See you next time.